Recently in the Z Classroom thread at Zebra Central, a user posted the question, how can they create skin pores using the surface noise feature here inside ZBrush? So let's first explore what noise is for those of you that aren't familiar with it. Over here in the tool palette, you have this option or this pull down called surface. I'm gonna open that up and you see you have this button called noise. Let me zoom into my plane here so we can see what happens when I click on noise. You're gonna see that this noise has now been applied to the surface. Now it really doesn't matter what resolution your model is at this point. This noise is still going to look like it's being projected on a very high resolution model. So I can change attributes like the scale of the noise, the strength of the noise. And below the strength you'll see that there's a curve that you can work with. And as I click and add points to the curve and move them around, you're going to see that that noise dramatically changes on the surface. So there really is an endless type of surfaces that you can create using noise. Now as you work with all of these features, scale, strength, and the curve, you're going to want to save a lot of these out. Because really, every time you create a new point, you're going to create a new unique surface that you're going to want to save. So you can click this Save button to save this curve. And if you want, you can load that in later. So for creating skin pores, we're not going to do it with noise alone. We're going to do it with noise and a special brush. So for right now, we want to adjust our noise so we just have a fine grain on the surface. So I'll click Reset so we can reset that curve. I'm going to take my scale down quite a bit because I really just want a fine grain. Something like that. I'm going to take the strength up a little bit. And once I find something like this that maybe looks like a rough carpet, then I'm going to project that down into the mesh. Now, as I mentioned, when you're just working with noise, the resolution of your mesh isn't important. Only when you want to project this noise down into the mesh do you need to have enough resolution to support all this detail. So this is a pretty highly subdivided plane, so I'll just click Apply to Mesh at this point. And now that noise has been projected down into the surface, you'll notice that the Noise button is turned off. So we're not actually using any of that artificial noise, now it's actually part of the polygons. So I'll close the surface tab because we're not going to be working with noise anymore. And if I zoom back in here, you can see that that noise is all down on the surface. So to take this kind of rough carpet look and turn it into something that looks a little bit more like skin pores, we're going to use something called the Smooth Peaks brush. Now you may have that loaded here in your brush pop-up, or you may have to locate it in Lightbox. So I'm going to click on Lightbox and then click on Brushes and then just scroll over until I find my Smooth Peaks brush. And I'll click on that. Now when I click on any of the smooth brushes, it's not going to be loaded right now. What I have to do is hold the Shift key and then you can see it'll assign that smooth brush to your Shift key. So with Smooth Peaks selected, I'll hold the Shift and simply just start smoothing out this surface. So let's zoom in there and see what's happening. You can see that we're getting these little micro dots, kind of like orange peel or human skin. Let's move over to another area. So here we have that rough carpet look and we'll hold the shift key and use our smooth peaks to turn this carpet into skin pores. See if I can find another area to demonstrate that with. Again, just the Smooth Peaks brush will give you what you're looking for as far as quick skin pores on the surface. And you don't really need to play with the noise slider all that much or attributes that much. You just need a rough surface and the Smooth Peaks brush is really going to take care of everything else for you. And there you go. A little bit of noise, a little bit of Smooth Peak and then you have skin pores. One last thing I'd like to point out before I finish this video tutorial is that you can use masking to isolate the areas of your model where you want noise to be projected to. 
So again, I'm going to select a 3D plane, turn that into a poly mesh, and we'll divide that a few times, just so we have enough resolution for that noise to be projected down inside. Okay, so again, I'll go back to my surface noise, turn that on. I'll turn this up quite a bit so you can see it. And before we project this down into the surface, what we want to do is we want to mask off specific areas. So for instance, if you're working with a character where you only want to add a high level of stubble or skin pores to maybe the stubble of his beard, and you're not going to want these kind of noise attributes to show up on the eye area or the forehead, then simply just hold down the control key and start masking this out. So I'll just mask out the top here. And then again, I'll click Apply to Mesh, clear my mask, and then you can see that our noise stopped where all that masking was. So you can isolate the area that you want, kind of this porous area to show up, and then use your smooth peaks to turn all of this noise into skin pores.